All right, welcome back, everybody, uh, and anybody new here. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, today's Tackle Tip Tuesday is going to be a real simple one. Uh, hopefully, it helps some of you guys out on first ice here because I was already out on it, and then I had to stop fishing it because it was getting bad. Uh, sounds like there's still some around that I can get to, but it's very expensive to get to. So uh, I wanted to help all you guys out do exactly what I did and find your first ice spots for crappie fishing. So like when you're ice fishing for crappie, uh, the, the best spots to start out your season searching for them. So let's get started. Okay, so just a little tip here. So I'm I I was looking at this after I drew it up. If you guys didn't see the video, I'll link it at the back of this one. Um, this one's not specifically for crappie. This was trying to find your first ice lake. So I'll I'll put that at the end of this video if you guys want to see what this entails, like why I drew it and basically how to find your first ice lakes. I go into great detail. So if you're looking for first ice. Um, these are the lakes that you're looking for, and, uh, yeah, that, that video will be at the end of this one. But I figured I'd use this, uh, template, because it's a perfect design, um, kind of give you two different types of options for lakes to find first ice crappie. Oh, and before I get started, if you don't already know, uh, DWS Outdoors has merch now. So this is just one of the stickers. Obviously, today's Tackle Tip Tuesday, so that's where these came from. Um, I have, uh hoodies and then i also have uh i have a few different things everything's linked in the description but uh yeah the back of the hoodies got tackle tip tuesday on it and uh the front's obviously just uh dws outdoors but so this is a premium hoodie or whatever uh i forgot the different types right now i have i added a bunch of stuff so just go check out in the description below uh, there's two different things right now. One's hard water and then one's tackle tip Tuesday um, The hard water addictions is for anybody who likes ice fishing um, But then I also have some surprises for you guys if you go into the the merch store and check it out So go check that out after you're done watching this video or I, anyways link in the description Oh, and one other thing this shirt is not available right now. Uh, this is an old shirt actually of mine um, one of my originals uh, if you guys want something like this for the summer, because this is a t-shirt, um, most of my stuff right now I have listed for you guys is for winter. There are some t-shirts available, but uh, anyways, I'll, I'll get back to the video. Just wanted to get let you guys know, uh, if you're looking to support the channel, get me out filming more, get more videos going for you guys, that's how it's done, so remember that. But let's get to this thing. Um, I'm going to do this like I did with it before, kind of. Uh, this is going to be really simple and complicated at the same time because it all depends on how you guys fished for crappie in the fall time. Um, sometimes you can kind of correlate it to the springtime. So if you've only ever fished a body of water for crappie in the spring, you can kind of correlate the same way. But usually the best thing um, is going to be wherever you left them in the fall. Now, if you didn't fish a body of water and you didn't you know you don't have an end spot where you were in the fall um the easiest way i'm going to point this out is so you're going to have different types of lakes and then this one just happens to be so this is one you know style of lake so deep hole little bay uh you know big flat and then just a big bowl kind of thing um with like a deeper section like deeper flat uh the best way I can describe this to you guys is uh, most crappie in the fall will end up moving out and following either one of two things. Because they're gonna what they're doing in the fall before ice up is they're trying to get fat or basically eat as much food as possible uh, to get ready for the winter because then their metabolism slow down, everything slows down, uh, and they don't necessarily need... Uh, well, not need, but don't have the ability to find a bunch of food. So, um, the first two spots I check on any given lake, uh, right in the fall, well, right in first ice, is usually around deep basin, uh, like these steep areas. So, like, see how this is really mellow across here? One, two, three, three to five feet, six to ten feet. Um, oh, just so you guys know, this is feet of water. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm thinking of like from my last video, but this bowl here, what you're going to have is you're going to have crappie roaming this bowl 
And instead of going out to this shallow flat, nine times out of 10, they will just circle in this little tight area here. So if you're on a bowl lake, um, one that's just got a big open expanse, it's you know not necessarily super deep. It could be deep, it could be 20 feet deep, but it could just be like a super mellow bowl. Uh, what you're looking for is the steepest, the steepest uh, drop offs. And the biggest thing is, is like, it might not necessarily be that close, but what you're looking for is like, so like down in uh, this lake, this is lake one, lake two, on lake one, so this is still steep right here. Even though this is a big flat, this just happens to still be steep. This just happens to be the main hole. So like they could be over here, but nine times out of 10, you're looking for the steepest break. So the steepest break is gonna be the shallowest to the deepest point in a lake. So if you come across the lake like this, where you have like big open expanses, but then there's like just a random hole off in the distance, um, your best bet is to drill out and around that hole. Now, the biggest problem that I have with following that one only, um, cause you guys, well, you subscribers have asked me like, how do I find the prime spot? And I wanted to do that for you on the ice, but it's looking like I'm gonna have to wait a little bit to get onto the ice again. Um, but the, to find the prime spot on a new, new lake, I start in here. So I will start in this, this basin. Uh, nine times out of 10, well, eight, eight times out of 10, you will find crappie roaming around in here feeding on one of two things, minnows or bugs. Uh, usually if it's a basin like that, it's got mud, so then there's a lot of blood worms and uh, like larvae and stuff like that floating around. Um, but the minnows will do that too. The thing is, is so one of two things, minnows or bugs, like bait fish or bugs, sometimes on lakes you'll get a heavy push, and this is usually real early ice, so like the first ice you get on, like the, like the very, very first ice on a body of water, uh, will normally, like, so this will freeze and this will be open. Uh, I talk about that in a different video. Uh, that's the one at the end of this one, I'll, I'll link it. Um, but this spot right here will get ice. And what you'll end up with is not only there'll be weeds and stuff in here, but because of the weeds and they're, uh, they're still green weeds, that's something you can look forward to is, or look for is green weeds. On these little uh, basin offshoots or bays is what, you're, what they're called. <laughs> I feel like a teacher. Sorry if I'm like, schooling you guys but this is the only way i have a way of describing this in detail without talking for six hours um so in the bay you'll have weeds and then what you're trying to find is usually a weed edge or sometimes you're just fishing over the tops of weeds so like we'll just use this so this is a weed you know my my hand is the bottom um, sometimes you'll have fish that roam here, but nine times out of 10, the bugs will be around the top of the weeds and then the bait fish just sit in them. So what you'll have is you'll have crappie cruising here or just in the weeds cruising here. So you can fish, you can kind of isolate that area. And then when it's shallow like that, like that bay, um, it's real easy to kind of cover a bay real quick and just, uh, I always suggest like just hole hopping, but that's the second spot. So like if you're trying to eliminate a bunch of water, so say you're on Lake two and it's real big like this, um, these shallow flats that stretch out like this, find out where the weeds start and then find out where, uh, I guess you would say the, the main weed flat is. The problem with that on these big shallow lakes, and it kind of sucks, is this shallow flat might be this entire area <laughs> and that entire area might be, you know, three, four, five hundred square yards or something like that. And that means you got a lot of drilling to do. But that's, I mean, that's crappie fishing on first ice uh, if they're not in the deep hole. So start here in the deep hole with the steepest break lines, uh, drill out your basin. Um, just like, so I'm referencing basically this last Sunday's video. You'll see that in the most recent uh, when you get to the end of this video. So if you guys stick around to the end of the video, you'll learn a lot more actually. Um, if you guys didn't see Sunday's video, um, basically what you're gonna find is, uh, like I went to a lake that had something like this, but the main lake was like 40, 50 feet deep. The, the back bay that I was fishing was still 25 to 27 or something like that. 
uh, in the main basin part of it. So I was fishing something similar to this as like, this was my bay. Um, and that's the thing is like, if you go out there and you just drill out the deepest part of that, the, the bowl or the basin, uh, you're nine times out of 10, I'll, I'll up it from eight. <laughs> Just because it is nine times out of ten, if you've never fished a body of water and it's first ice, they will sit in there. Now, those green, the green weeds that I was talking about, the biggest thing I want you guys to understand, uh, so I don't have to make this very long, is option one is only this area. Option two is this area. So what could happen is if you go to the option one and you can get out over the deeper water nine times out of ten you're gonna you're gonna drill a couple holes and you'll end up marking some fish and you just get to follow them around hole hopping and that's how you catch your fish in the second option when you get up in the bay here um that bay could be big and it could be shallow and big and when it's shallow and big you're gonna have even more uh more movement because there's no there's no vertical for them to travel in, so it's all horizontal stuff. Um, and when they're moving through horizontal stuff and it's weedy, it's a lot harder to pick them off. So my biggest suggestion for first ice is going to be looking for that deep hole if you can get to it. If you can't get to it, obviously fish the bay with the weeds. All right, guys. So hopefully, I know it was just a lot of talking, but the thing is, is with fishing... Um, what I've learned over my lifetime has been from talking. <laughs> so you talk to people and it's how you learn, um, the kind of nuances, but obviously you got to do a lot of fishing yourself. So that's why I'm giving you the two first ice options. Um, one big thing, remember DWS Outdoors merch link in description. I hope you guys are buying some of that stuff because that is going to dictate how much, you know, actual out there out there filming i do uh i can film at home every day of the week but i know you guys don't want to see me sitting in here <laughs> so that's a problem if i don't have the you know finances to get out so you guys want to support dws outdoors go on there uh go in the description buy some merch um tell your friends about it share the videos um, otherwise I hope, like I said, today's video helps you guys out. I really do. I'm trying to get you guys so you can kind of bypass those years and years and years of fishing that I had to do in order to, you know, kind of master those things I just told you in basically 10 minutes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you learned something. Obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up, but if you are new, would you please just remember to